What's up everybody, it's Zach with Half Pace Outdoors. We are out here at beautiful Clendenning Lake in Ohio today. Ohio's largest undeveloped lake. And we are out here for an overnighter and a fishing trip. This is very fast becoming one of my favorite places to be. There's no road noise, it's quiet. You have the boat traffic, but that's nothing once it gets later in the day. All right, let's keep paddling around until we find a place to set up camp. humidity is killer today. I brought my woobie instead of a sleeping bag this time. I got enough firewood that'll keep me busy most of the night. It'll at least let me cook dinner later and breakfast in the morning. The heat and humidity are just so high today that it has got my energy completely wrecked. Oh, it's 
It's starting to cool down now. I got my shirt back on. I'm getting hungry. Where I can't stand it anymore. So. Let's fire up the Uber Lieben and get some rice going. I'm hungry. Look at the tree shimmering from the water. Ain't that cool? That's neat. That is awesome. Alright, so camp is now officially set up. We've got the fire pit, my new river country tent, and I strung up my army poncho as a rain fly because we're looking at something like an 80% chance of rain tonight. 60 to 80%, I don't remember exactly what it was now. I just had to paddle out so I could check the weather and um check in with my wife because that's what I do and that's how I get to do the things that I want to do so we are sweating again just trying to cool off mosquitoes are starting to come out so I'm going to start to fire here in a little bit let me get the fire going. So I'm going to use the fire kit that Haggard Outdoors made for me for my birthday. So thanks, Craig. It looks like some birch bark and some fat wood. If you guys are wondering why I'm not carrying my knife on my hip today, it's my legs are just tired. And this has an effect on my legs.
and I felt like pressed coffee this time instead of the cowboy coffee, so I brought my little Espro ultralight coffee press. I love this thing. This is awesome. I use this at home a lot, too. So much for that 60 and up percent chance of rain that was supposed to happen at 8. It didn't happen because I set my tarp up. That's, that's the secret. No rain, but I'm hearing thunder. My little Indian fire is doing just the trick tonight. A couple little logs and a few sticks. I don't need a big, huge raging fire. We're starting to get some lightning out here. Or at least enough just to light the sky up every now and then, but the thunder's still way off in the distance. Here comes the storm. The wind just switched directions and picked up. The temperature's dropping a little bit. And there is lightning here and there. This is going to be an interesting night. We have rain now. Very lightly. Something's out here growling. I really think it's a bobcat. I think there's a bobcat, a bobcat out there. That sounds like a cat growl.
Well, it's 11.30, so I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is raining. Boy, is it raining. It's been coming down since like 1 o'clock this morning. This has got to be one of the best pieces of sleep gear that I've got so far. My brother-in-law got it for me for Christmas, my Woody. This thing is awesome as a sleeping bag liner, as a standalone blanket. I mean, I didn't have another sleeping bag last night. This was it. I mean, it didn't get any colder than like 60, but still, this thing has just been awesome from the start. The humidity is already crazy, so I'm on my way home. Thanks for coming out with me, guys, and as always, find your way. I'll see you on the next one.